I love great conversations. Hi, my name is Angel Jones. Thank you for joining me on 12 Minute Convos, where I help you create a brand of your own unique real self. Listen in as I have conversations with amazing people from all over the world. Good morning, good morning, Jelly Driver. How are you going on this wonderful, beautiful day? Thank you so much. Uh, I'm I'm fine. I hope you're fine too. I'm excellent, my friend. Great pleasure to connect with you. Please do tell us which of your talents is responsible for us connecting at this time. Yeah, actually, I should ask that question to you because you approached me that you wanted to interview me. So you are much more able to tell me why that is the fact than me but I, I i assume it's about my entrepreneurship and maybe about my uh, uh, podcast the fact that i'm a podcaster as well but you tell me what's the reason for you to connect with me well i'll tell you something it is the podcast one but what's fascinating about that question is that there's something that you've been doing that has now drawn a cross section with something i've been doing and now you're all the way in the Netherlands. You're in the Netherlands right now, right? Yeah, 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 I am. And yeah. I am in Trinidad, which is in the Caribbean, and we, we're connected. Isn't that fascinating? How cool is that? How so that's cool how that, internet right? works, right? <laughs> yeah. so, I'm so happy to be alive in the 2020, what is it? Almost 2020. 20, what are we? 2017 it is. Still. Yeah, you could yeah. say almost 2018. Yeah, 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 yeah. So tell us about the podcast, please, and what you do there. Yeah, well, I started the podcast um, thinking about the podcast end of 2014, and I started it in January 2015, and by then I thought, I want to make a podcast, and I want to talk to entrepreneurs, authors of books that, uh, that inspire me, and um, um, uh, online marketing, etc. And then I thought, I can start my own podcast and try to get listeners for that, and as well, I don't need to tell you that's quite challenging to get a big um, uh, follower base. And so I approached a couple of media companies in the Netherlands, which are always uh, are also talking about um, entrepreneurship, books, online marketing, etc. And uh, the first one I approached and I said, I can make my own podcast, but I can also make a podcast and name it like your platform. And then I make all the episodes and then we both benefit of that. And then they said, that's great. We want to do that. So I started a week later making a podcast. And now 85 episodes later, we separated. But now I uh, I have my own followers. I take all the subscribers with me. And so that was a great way to start. Uh, and it's, it's about entrepreneurship, online marketing, and uh, uh, books that inspire me. Who did you learn that skill from, that skill of creating uh, communication tools, if you would? Yeah, I, I, I think I'm, uh, it's self-taught. Uh, that, and that's also beautiful about living in this uh, era, that, that you can learn everything online. And, and I've paid for, um, uh, uh, for, for uh, how do you say that, um, uh, learning material and i've i've learned a lot from free uh sources as well like youtube there's so much valuable information just on youtube and in in other podcasts and um, uh, one of the 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 podcasts um, uh, podcasters that inspired me to begin is uh, john lee dumas i believe we share that uh and um, yeah and 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 in that podcast i have um I've learned about podcasting um, uh, in his uh, free podcast course online yeah. as well. So so it's actually self-taught. And um, the best way to learn stuff is to do stuff. It's really hard to get better in something which, which you don't do. So then you can think about it a lot, but uh, you should start doing it and dare to fail and go flat on your face and stand up again and try it in another way until you find a way that succeeds. Mm. Why would and, you continue uh, to do that, Jelly? Why would you continue to fall flat on your face to get up to go again? Uh, because, and that sounds really, but because I like, well, not going flat on my face, but I like what happens when you go flat on your face and stand up again and try a different way. Because when you go flat on your face, you have just found a way that doesn't work, but that doesn't mean that you can't find a way that that does work. So, 
Um, so it, it actually it makes me happy, <laughs> and it sounds re- it makes me happy to go flat on your face because uh, it brings you closer to um, uh, to a way to be successful. And a lot of people are really scared to make mistakes and to fail, and and therefore uh, uh, don't start doing something or don't get off their chair and and go for it. Hmm. But tell me one other thing, Jerry, you've done consistently over the last three years. <laughs> Going flat on my face and and, <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and fail big time. Yeah. You, uh, um, yeah. Um, mega exposure, right? Yeah, that's that's OK. That's uh, if, if you're talking about what I've done um, in the business wise, then it's mega exposure. And um, yeah, it's, it's basically I was talking about the, falling flat on yeah. your face. It definitely brings yeah. mega exposure, right? What are you speaking about yeah. when you say mega exposure? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, mega exposure is my the name of my company. All right, all right. Is, Tell is us that, more. Is that a, is that is that a coincidence or not? Well, it <laughs> is not a coincidence. Yeah. I'm playing. Of course, I did my yeah. research for the conversation, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm a business owner. I have two companies. One is Mega Exposure, and where we're helping other companies to be successful online. Right. But in the past few years, um, my core business is switching from Mega Exposure to Paper in Your Pump. If you would translate that to English, it's something like uh, put some pepper in your building. Uh, and uh, because we are um, renting uh, office buildings as multi-tenant uh, buildings to other entrepreneurs and small medium enterprises all right and that that enables me to to connect with loads of entrepreneurs and learn from them and and and, and check in with them um, so i really love doing that hmm. how does that make you feel to know that you're the guy that was feeling forward and now you're helping others not to do that to actually well to actually do that right yeah, that of course that feels that feels amazing when you think about it, and on the other hand, it, it it's really uh, it's really natural. Um, and maybe I should stand still by the fact that I learn people um, uh, due to the, the the mistakes I've made myself now. Hmm. Uh, but it it goes really natural, and I really really like doing that. And uh, yeah. Hmm. Now, yeah. where's the best place for someone to connect with you, Jelly? Oh well, uh, um, still Twitter is uh, really helpful, and I, I I'm the owner of the Twitter handle at podcast, so that's quite easy to remember. Um, and via LinkedIn um, or in person. So if anybody is listening in the Caribbean or in the Netherlands or wherever in the world, and they are in the Netherlands nearby, they're always welcome to connect with me and uh, grab a cup of coffee and uh, and have a chat. Love it. Well, amazing audience, we are live with Jelly Driver of the Jelly Driver podcast, right? <laughs> yes, we are. Oh, there we are. <laughs> well, my friend, let's switch gears for a moment now, Jelly, and let me now invite you into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful, warm, blue Caribbean water. Jelly, what is your earliest childhood memory? Well, I, I remember participating in some kind of a swimming contest. But I, I can't remember all of it, but there were millions of other contestants, and, and, and I remember I won. Um, no, I'm just kidding. No, I, re- I remember going... <laughs> this is all audience podcast, right? So I, I, should, um, <laughs> I should mention... <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Um, I'm just kidding. I, I remember going on the holidays uh, by car to France with my dad, and I have a memory of, of me playing at the beach... Uh, with my dad going to the zoo that kinds of happy moments mm. yeah how old were you in those memories I, 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 yeah I, I, I don't know three four I, I couldn't tell you exactly all right how do you see that memory connecting to who you are today Ooh, uh, well I was happy then and I'm still happy and um, uh, as, I, as I mentioned my dad was in these memories as well and he's still among us. So uh, it may may sound like he's he's dead, but that, that's not <laughs> that's not the case. But um, 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 uh, and I I think I've I've learned so much from my father in the way I am now, uh, and and he always pushed me to to fail as well. So when when I was a child and I asked him, um, um, do you know if uh, this this video game for the Nintendo is available in in stores now? Then he said, this is a phone book. This is a phone. Um, 
called him and I, didn't, I, and I said, but I don't know how the phone book works. And then he said, I'm not going to show you the number, but I'll tell you how the phone book works. Hmm. And then I was really little, but I needed to call myself. And, and if I said, I, I, I'm, I'm afraid to call, I don't want to call. Then he said, then you'll never know if it's available because I'm not going to call for you. So this is the phone book. This is the phone. Go. And he really stimulated me to do things I out of my comfort zone. And that definitely um, made me who I am now. That's amazing. Well, can I offer an interpretation to the thought picture you created in my mind? Yeah, please. I love the idea that your father carried you, or led you, if you would, to the jungle of life, right? To experience mm. what the zoo of uh, scenarios can can have. Uh, to see that you are now uh, created a zoo of, if you would, of entrepreneurs, where definitely entrepreneurs can be animals, right? Uh, just representing Absolutely. the the variations or uh, uh, caged animals. If if you would that want to be set free to be able to accomplish the dreams that they know in it they are created for to see your father driving you to that place and to see him creating in you what is necessary to be prepared to do what is necessary again for your success is fascinating to me how that connects wow wow that's that's awesome that in, in such a short time you just came up with this i i really i love it Hmm. If we fast forward to when you were 12, what was your favorite song? Well, actually, I, I had to look it up because it was in 1996. And, and I, I went to the Internet and looked up what are the hits? What were the hits in those years? And man, it's so hard to choose. I, I see hits like Michael Jackson that they don't care about us. And hey, oh, Captain Jack, uh, uh, some Dutch uh, songs you wouldn't know about. And, and, and of course, um, no diggity. Yeah, there's so much, so much in that year that I, I, I just cannot choose one. Hmm. All right. Do you think? And that now you're gonna start this music <laughs> of, the, of the number I picked, but I didn't pick a number. But because I like to be happy and to make other people happy, just start Captain Jack. Hey, oh, there Captain we go. Jack. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> love it well jelly we've arrived at our destination but before we get off of this time machine there is a small declaration form so it's yes or no possibly a bit more we're going to move pretty yep. quickly here are you ready jelly yeah bring it on J jelly have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to my son are you yes. married no do you have other children no do just you one. do you believe in god yeah, I, I don't know yet. Sometimes. Do you have an inner circle of friends? Uh, yeah, I'm really thankful of that. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? Nope, I don't. How about three hours a week? Yeah, I do. What about screen time, the phone and the computer? Is it more than eight or less than eight hours a day? Definitely more than eight. If you had to share with us your own unique real statement, a statement that represents Jelly Driver, what would you say that is? Oh. Dare to fail, dare to dare to go flat on your face and make yourself stand up always more often than you, uh, than the amount of times you go flat. Love it. Just like that child going through that directory, that phone directory, failing forward, but learning yeah. the skill necessary to carry him through life. Jelly driver. Jelly, this was a great pleasure. Before you leave, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? Yeah. Uh... The Jelly Driver podcast is not only in Dutch, it also contains really nice interviews with uh, persons you might know, uh, um, such as uh, uh, Dene Ringelman, founder of Indiegogo, uh, the founder of Hootsuite, the founder of Trello. Uh, so I have, I have some amazing interviews in English as well. So please go to Jelly Driver podcast on iTunes or any of the other platforms to check out the English interviews I've done. Love it. Jelly Driver, thank you for being on What is Inspired by 12-Minute Convos with Encho Jones. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. Thank you for being on 12-Minute Convos with Encho Jones. Stay tuned for more from our advertisers. Diabetes is a mountain pandemic. It's a disease that's not acute but chronic. Similar to this rhyming method, I have simplified the definition, the signs and symptoms and the complications of diabetes for both adults and children in my books, 
poems for patients, a focus on diabetes, and the ABCs of Diabetes for Children. These books are available on Amazon.com, and for more information, you can visit my website, poemsbyag.com. That's poemsbyag.com.